What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and today we are inside of Adobe After Effects, and this is what we're going to be creating. All right, as you can see, we've got a a blur going on as our animation, then a blur going on as we turn around, and then a blur going back. So let's go ahead and jump into it, create a new composition. Name this show hide. 800 width, 200 height, 15 frames is okay. 50 duration for our frames. Click OK. And now we want to write out some text. We're going to write dark. Okay. Bring this up. And action title safe. Down in the center, click on it, layer, pre-compose, call this transition, oops, put an I in there, okay, open up our transition, go to layer, new, solid, and this one sounds good, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go out to five, and then <coughs> we are going to do a 3D layer and let's go ahead and animate its position. Let's go ahead and start there, go to 10, drag it off. Okay, then go to 20, go to 30, paste, and copy and paste. Now this is what we should have. So we're going to drag this, it's going just a little bit too fast, so we're going to drag it out like so. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so now let's go back inside of our show and hide. Right click here, go to import file, and import our file, drag it on. Want our text. A little bit smaller. Alright. And now we want to bring this back to here. P for position. Create a keyframe. Okay. Go ahead and set that as a 3D layer. Drag it. Yeah, we need to go a little bit faster than that. So. And then just drag it all the way across to here. Yep. Going just a little bit too fast. Drag that to there. Okay, there it goes. You gotta play around with that last keyframe to make sure you get it just right. And then we we'll wanna go ahead and just drag this over to here, right off the edge. And then let's go over to our orientation and let's key, create a keyframe. That way it stays the same. Drag it to here, change this to 180. That way we got that spin around. We want to drag this spin around about up in there. We want it to actually, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and drag this out to about right up in here. That way it's not actually part of that. There it goes. All right, now let's go to right here. Copy this keyframe and paste it. And then let's go ahead and start doing a Pac-Man effect and eating up our text. And then copy paste. 
go about right there and choose zero. Just make sure that our effect is doing good and everything looks good. So now let's go back and add some really cool effects to it. So let's go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, now what we want to do here is that we want to start off about here and give it, let's give it 50. Yep, that seems right. Okay, now let's go to here and create another one and then go one up and go back down to zero. Now from here, we're going to go to 0 0.1 just to create a keyframe, which we could have actually done that here. So let's get rid of this keyframe here, delete it, and create a keyframe there. Now, we want to go to there and change this to 200 and then 0 so drag this right there drag that right there there she goes okay now we get about right up in here and then we start it all over again. Let's create a keyframe. Let's go to 50. And then drag this across to here. Keyframe. Let's go to zero. Then we also want to animate our transition. So we're going to do 200. And then key, create another keyframe and then jump to here back to zero. Okay, and now we're going to add in one more. Effect, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to blur out our text from here. We're going to add in about 15. Then it gets to there. We're going to do 1. And then 0. And then whenever we leave, we don't really change it too much because it just wouldn't look right. So anyway, this is it. Let's speed through this. Perfect. All right. I hope that this uh, worked out pretty good for you. And this is Wayne Barron with darkeffects.net, and y'all have a rocking week, and I'll try to get up some more, and keep the questions coming, man. I enjoy these questions. All right, have a good one now. Bye-bye.